Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's me. It's a cold and wintry night. I feel like I'm telling you a story today. A cold and wintry night. It was minus three outside and the wind whistled around the drafty parts of my flat. <laughs> around my drafty parts. <laughs> That wasn't the kind of story I intended to tell you, but it made me laugh, which is good because I need that today. Oh, so today I went to see my local MP again. I was invited in to go and uh, meet his uh, office again. And um, I was feeling a little ooh, about it and because it's just been this ongoing story now for such a long time and I just want to let feel like I want to let go of it now I'm I am leaving my stuff's packed um some of it's packed ready to go on Sunday with my friends um helping me so I just there's a heavy weight on my heart and I I really just want to kind of relieve that weight now I don't deserve to have it and um you know like move on from the situation and uh so anyway I go along and I'm I'm thinking oh you know oh, you know, what's, what am I going to say? What's going to happen? Uh, but, um, but I'm going to go along anyway. But I forgot that on the front door, there's this amazing guy who I met the last time. And he's a, a Sikh elder, a very, a very, very strong character. And um, last time he was wearing an absolutely incredible, beautiful, bright pink turban. And... Um, and he he pretty much gave me a blessing. He blessed me before I went up to see, uh, to go up into the hall to wait to see um, uh, Stephen Tim's, the office of Stephen Tim's. I want to say the office, I mean the people, the people who work for him. And uh, it was just a really lovely blessing that he gave me the first time I met him. And uh, and he, he was, he kind of uh, said something along the lines of, you know, two is always better than one. And, and um you know, he, he had a little, a little bit of diatribe that he was he was talking about and different things, and I mean that with the greatest respect. And when but when he said two is better than one, I'm, I, and I was looking at him, going, "Are you asking? Are you are you asking me to marry you?" <laughs> and he really laughed. So um, we had a we had a laugh, and he was just he's really lovely and really just wonderful person, warm person. So anyway, I go up and I sit last time, and I I'm kind of chuckling away at that. But this time round, I had a heavy head today. I really did. The last two days, I just felt really heavy with it all, and um. And I think he could see it because the people, the people he let in first, he he's you know checked them and let them pass, and he saw me and his face lit up, and I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, what's going to happen now? And this time he was wearing a black turban, and um, and he said, Marsh, <laughs> at me, and I'm like, yes. He goes, Rod Marsh. <laughs> The, the uh australia i'm like what crick, cricketer and he's like yes are you a relation to rodney marsh <laughs> and he goes i could see i could see you're uh looking low i just wanted to cheer you up um and then he went on to again bless me and um uh tell me in kind of um a roundabout sort of way that um most of the problems that we have in our life we create ourselves and I was so amazing I was like you're absolutely right and um and I said why have you got a black turban on today where's the pink one <laughs> and he's like it's because it's so cold <laughs> but just a really lovely way to start this whole um just half hour of just talking over and um what you know what's been going on and and they've done everything they can do and uh but it was just a little kind of pop along thank you and um and see mr sing mr sing again um just absolutely just brilliant just absolutely brilliant it really made my day um it's just such a festive thing um and i still don't I, I still don't know why he didn't speak to me in front of them but like i'm um, straight away i'm like right let's talk to her <laughs> just so so lovely so lovely I mean I've followed the Sikh religion for quite a long time um let's let's say academically and understanding as much as I can I've been to the the biggest gurdwara um in Europe in Gravesend which is just a magical experience it really was and I've also worked to did the uh, Vaisakhi event which was at City Hall once volunteered and uh, ran children's activities yeah just absolutely fabulous and I love getting to know all sorts of peoples and all sorts of culture and it just pays back 
uh, when you've, you're met by someone of, of a completely different faith and completely different part of the world, but just feel so familiar with them um, and just so just loving towards them, I suppose. So anyway, that's the story. Bit of festive love today and um, a little bit more of a ramble today, but that's okay, isn't it? Because some of my others have been shorter. So sending you my love and speak to you tomorrow. Bye.